close your eyes and watch your breath. The mind has the right to choose where it's going to focus, so choose well. Focus on a place where the mind can settle in and have a sense of belonging right here. This is what gives strength to the mind, because otherwise we go out looking for happiness in things outside, the ways of the world, they call them. There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status, Cra <clears throat> praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. That's pretty much it. You go anywhere in the world, that's what you're going to find. Same kind of things. And you notice they come in pairs. There's the good side and the bad side. Well, the good side is that the side we like, and then there's the side we don't like. But it's not necessarily, necessarily the case that the good side is good for us. Sometimes material gain can turn to our disadvantage. Status can turn to our disadvantage. We suddenly get power. We suddenly get the ability to buy things and do things we couldn't do before. And so we start abusing that. So the goodness of the world doesn't lie necessarily in the things that we like. It lies in creating good qualities in the mind. So when good things come our way or likable things come our way, we don't get carried away. We don't get complacent. When bad things come, we don't get dejected. We realize that both the things we like and the things we don't like have their good side and their bad side. So try to take advantage of the good side of each. Material game comes and you can do good for the world. You can Now you have the ability to help people in ways you couldn't help before. The same with status. As for loss of material gain and loss of status, that's when you find out who your friends are, who you can really depend on. And that's a valuable lesson. So there's something good to be gained from either side, wherever you go. On this side of the world, that side of the world, it's all the same kind of stuff. It's dressed up a little bit differently, but it comes down to the same sorts of things. What we can do is we can make our mind stay the same, regardless of where we are. This is our mind. This is the mind we develop here. You take it to another country, you take it to another place. It's still our mind. And you learn how not to get carried away with things over there, either. Remember when John Sawat came here to the States, he, some group of people took him to Yellowstone. He came back, and I asked him, what did you see? And he said, I saw a lot of inconstancy. That's the mind that looks for the things that are general all over the place. So the mind itself doesn't get up and down about where it is how pretty things are or how bad things are outside. It's a mind that says it looks for goodness inside. So if you want goodness, you have to develop it inside here. That's what we do as we meditate. So this is why we choose the breath as a place to stay, because it's a place where we can develop powers of concentration, powers of discernment, get the mind so it has a sense of belonging in here and not necessarily out there. So when things out there turn bad, okay, you've got a safe place inside. When things out there get turn good, you've got a safe place inside as well. So you don't get carried away. To try to make the most of this opportunity that you have to develop this safe place inside, to protect you from things outside and protect you from your own things inside as well. When you, in fact, it's the things that come up from within. It's the greed, aversion, and delusion. Those are the real dangers. And when you can protect yourself from those, then you're really safe.